welcome to another video with me, Sina, at Yoga with Sina. I'm happy to see you here. For today's class, which is going to be focusing on our necks and shoulders, you will need a strap, a belt, or maybe um, a tie or something that resembles a strap, and two, plo two blocks if you have. If you don't have the blocks, don't worry. It'd be quite important to have something that could replace a belt if you don't have a yoga belt. All right, today's class, we're going to focus on finding some relief in our neck and our shoulders. So this class is great for you if you have any tension in those areas. Maybe you've had a bad night of sleep, maybe it's from bad posture, or maybe it's from stress and from anxiety that we're constantly kind of like drawing the shoulders up to our ears. So if you want to find a little bit of release in the area of your neck and shoulders, join me for this practice. Let's begin. We begin sitting up nice and tall on our mats. So come into a cross-legged position. Go ahead, maybe wiggle a little bit side to side just finding the most comfortable grounding position through your both sit bones. And then when you're ready, close your eyes for just a moment of centering. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. If you can, grow up a little taller through your spine. On your exhale, ground, drop your shoulders, become heavy through your thighs, through your legs, and rest your hands on your legs wherever they gently and naturally come and want to rest. Continue breathing in and out of your nose. And then scanning your body, especially the area of your neck and your shoulders for any tension, for any tight spots. as if you were scanning your whole body from head to toe, really tapping into the tight spots, focusing on the upper body today. Continue to breathe in and out of your nose. And with every inhale, find some length through your spinal column and with every exhale, grounding your sit bones to the mat. Take one more breath here. And on your next inhale, blink your eyes open. We'll begin with a little bit of hygiene for our necks. So drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Keep the shoulders away from the ears parallel to the floor and then notice the sensation that tilt gives you in the side of your left neck. Lift your chin ever so slightly upward and notice how that changes the sensation in the front side of your left neck. Now you can always opt to stay here. Maybe you want to reach your right hand for the outside of your left ear, just placing the hand on your side of the, of the head without pulling the head down, intensifying that stretch through the weight of your hand on the side of your head. Shoulders are still pulling away from the ear. Now you can stay here or if you want a little deeper stretch, just reach your left fingertips out. And then by moving your left hand here, notice how that changes the sensation again. Now we still have the chin slightly lifted. One more breath here. And then go ahead and tuck your chin down towards the floor. Turn your nose towards your right armpit, almost as if you were trying to reach your nose to sniff underneath your armpit. And then again, notice how that changes the sensation, the stretch. 
Still sitting up nice and tall here. We'll stay for one more breath. And then releasing the right hand down, just coming through a half circle over your collarbone, over your chest to the other side. Now dropping the left ear to the left shoulder, staying nice and tall in your spine. Shoulders are parallel and the chin's lifted ever so slightly again. Just noticing here how that feels, maybe the hands resting on your knees. Breathe deep into that stretch on the right side. Stay here or place your left hand onto the side of your head so that your middle finger connects to the right ear. Continue breathing in and out of your nose here. If you want to intensify that stretch, reach your right arm out again. Checking how moving your right hand changes the sensations again. And then go ahead, turn your head down, chin and nose, trying to reach for your left armpit again. Notice the change of the sensation in the front side, maybe changing into the back side of your right neck now. Releasing your left hand down and again drop your chin forward, rolling it to the center of your chest. Now stay here, just make a very few circles, half circles, not full circles. Pushing your chin into your chest, almost as if you had a double chin. Imagine you had a double chin and you were trying to iron it out here. So almost as if you were pressing your double chin into your chest. Just a few more side to side, gently here. And then interlace your hands and rest your hands at the part of your neck where the hairline meets your neck. Now drop your elbows forward and down and again without pulling just notice the weight of your hands and how that stretches deep in between the shoulders, the neck area. Shoulders are relaxed here, jaw is relaxed, face is soft. Still sitting up nice and tall through your spine. Just a few breaths here. Maybe you can continue these little side-to-side -side movements with your head, pushing your chin against your chest. Or just stay in complete stillness here. Wherever you are, one more breath. Releasing the hands back onto your knees and then slowly pick up your gaze. And maybe shrug your shoulders a few times here. That's it. Great. We'll go ahead and try and get out of some of that, some of that stiffness, that stale energy that we usually have in the spine. So to me, it feels really, really nice whether I do it in the morning, midday, or in the evening to twist my body. It just really gives me that sensation of length. So let's go ahead, inhale, reach the arms all the way up. And on your exhale, turning to your right side, right fingertips come down to the floor behind you, left hand connects to your right knee. On your inhale, reaching the crown of the head upwards. On the exhale, see if you can tilt your right shoulder a little bit more towards the back here. So almost as if you were trying to push your sternum towards the right side. Take another deep breath in here. Exhale out. One more breath. Inhale, grow a little taller through your spine. And exhale, maybe your head, your gaze is turning towards the back here. Inhale, releasing head to center, release the right arm up. Left arm comes up, sitting straight, facing the front. 
and on your exhale, twisting to your left, right hand meets the left knee, left fingertips come down behind you, inhaling, lengthening through your spine, on your exhale, twisting towards your left, here you can find a little bit of oppositional force between your right hand and the knee, lengthening on the inhales, twisting on the exhales. One more, in through the nose, sit up nice and tall, exhale, maybe your gaze follows the twist towards the back here. Inhale, bring your head back to center, left arm comes up, right arm sweeps up as well, and on your exhale, bring your hands together in front of your chest. Now release your shoulders here. It's time to find your strap or your belt or maybe even a tie holding that strap so that you can extend your elbows. So the arms are not bent, they're completely extended. And then you have a nice straight line with your strap in front of you. We're going to work into our mobility of the shoulders now. So on your inhale, I want you to reach the belt up all the way overhead. Now it's important here to release your shoulders into their sockets and to keep the elbows nice and straight and to not loosen the grip of your straps. So keep that nice and tight. As you exhale, you want to keep the arms as straight as possible, reaching the belt all the way down. Good. On your inhale, keeping the ends of the strap pulling away from each other as you reach all the way up again. Elbows are still straight. On your next exhale, reaching the arms forward and down. We'll do that a couple of times, a couple of more times, connecting movement to breath. On your inhale, reaching the arms up, belt comes over your head. On your exhale, with straight elbows, reaching down and back. Inhaling, reaching the arms up. Nice pull on that strap, exhaling, reaching the arms forward and down. Still sitting up nice and tall here, everybody. Inhale, reaching the belt up. Exhale, reach it down. Really see if you can use that whole range of motion in your shoulders. Inhaling, last time, all the way up to the top. That's it. And then on your exhale, reaching the right hand down, left arm comes up, inhaling, reaching up, exhaling, left hand comes down, nice lateral stretch on your right side here, inhaling, reaching up again, exhaling, reaching with your right hand to the mat, left arm comes up, inhale, reaching both arms up. Exhaling, reaching down with your left hand. That's it. Now keep your left hand down here as you inhale. See if you can pull the right strap towards the back, opening your chest all the way up to the ceiling and finding that nice stretch on the inside of your right biceps. Grounding heavy through your hips. Inhale here once more. And exhaling, bringing the arm over the left, or left wrist and right wrist in one line. And then reaching forward, really making a nice big movement forward. Coming all the way over to the other side. Right hand connects down to the mat. Left arm reaches up. You can have a nice bend in the right elbow here. And on your inhale, really pulling those ends of the strap away from each other as your gaze may lift up to the ceiling pushing your sternum, your chest up to the ceiling, noticing that stretch in the inside of your left arm here. Let's take one more breath. And on your exhale, bringing left wrist over the right again, and then reaching forward once more, releasing the belt. Place your hands on your shoulders and we're just going to make a few shoulder circles here. So almost as if you were trying to draw big circles with your elbows into the air. Maybe the elbows come together in the front, almost touching or even touching. Touching the ears as you reach up with your elbows. 
So insides of the arms are reaching for the ears, touching the ears. And reversing, coming forward and down with your elbows. Go with your breath again, exhaling down, inhaling up. One more, exhaling down and inhaling up. Good. Last one here, if you come to shoulder height, extend your arms out to the sides and then reaching your right arm up, bending your elbow here, reaching the left arm up and reaching for the right elbow, holding outside edges of your elbows. Drop your shoulders down and away from the ears. Press your head against your forearm and then press your um, elbows into your hands. Draw your navel to your spine to avoid too much of an arch in your lower back. And then breathe here, pressing your head back, pressing it against your forearm, holding that nice long spine, navel draws back. One more breath here. And then reaching all the way over to the left side, really pulling with your left hand a little bit more on your right elbow. Finding that nice stretch all the way down alongside your right body. One more breath in here, maybe turning the sternum up to the ceiling a bit more. And then with engagement in the navel, come back up to center. Release your arms. Bending through your right elbow and then your left, grabbing the outside edges of your elbows again. Pressing the head back, drop the shoulders away from the ears. Find that engagement in your navel. Taking deep breaths in here, really stretching down into the shoulders. One more breath. And on your exhale, now leaning over to your right side, really use your right hand to pull your left elbow down diagonally to the floor. Shoulders are relaxed here, jaw is soft, maybe spinning your sternum, your chest a little bit upwards. One more breath here. And inhale, reaching both arms up again and exhaling, releasing the hands down. Just two more shoulder straps here, back and forth. That's it, relaxing your neck. Okay, we're going to come into a tabletop position. And if you have the two blocks ready, set them up at the front of your mat, like so, pointing with the long sides towards the fronts of the mat, and leave about like a full hand space place in between the blocks. That's where your head might rest later on. Now take your hands underneath your wrists, knees underneath the hips, toes in line with the knees, just for a little bit of a spinal movement here we're going through a few rounds of cat and cow so rounding the spine finding that space between your shoulder blades inhale dropping the chest gaze and tailbone lift shoulders draw back exhaling rounding the spine finding that expansion between the shoulder blades two more inhale dropping the belly lift your gaze on your exhale, round your spine. And then for your last round, just move in any movement that feels nice. So to me, sometimes kind of like these rounding movements feel really, really nice as I come with my belly down towards the floor. And then as I exhale, doing the same thing, just pushing the hips a little bit side to side. Just whatever feels nice here. Going gentle, giving you release if possible. Okay, let's come back into a tabletop position. And then from here, we're going to come into puppy pose or anahatasana, which means basically heart to earth in a translation. So this is a really deep stretch that goes into the shoulders. If you have very, very tight shoulders or a lot of discomfort in your shoulders, you may not want to use your blocks. So try with the blocks if you have them 
And if it's too intense, just remove the blocks away and do the same pose without your blocks. If you have the blocks, go ahead and bring your forearms down. So the knees stay stacked, okay, underneath your hips. And then the forearms come down onto the blocks. And we want to try to bring the head down to the floor as well, if possible. Trying to reach with the chest to the floor as well. Now here you want to keep a little bit of engagement in your tailbone. So pressing the tops of the toes down, lengthening your tailbone backwards all the way to the hips. Now you can stay here. Maybe you can already feel the stretch in your shoulders. If possible, bring your palms together and make like a little sharp fin here. So coming with the palms into prayer pose, you can have a look at the video first so that you know where you're going and then come and meet me in this pose. So here you want to really drop into the shoulders, keeping the navel engaged, keeping the tailbone pressing upwards, tops of the toes are pressing down, but still we're isolating a lot of stretch into our shoulders. And like I said, if this is too much, just remove the blocks, do the same pose with the elbows on the floor. We'll stay for five more breaths. Breathing nice, deep in and out of your nose. One more breath, jaw is soft, no clenching of the teeth. On your exhale, extend your hands forward and then gently bring the weight onto your elbows, then onto your palms. And then go ahead and remove the blocks out of the way. We're going to come back into our seat. And then from here, we're just going to bring the arms out again. Maybe you can feel that space that we've created in the shoulder joint. And I want you to give yourself a really nice big hug here, holding on to the outside edges of your shoulder blades if you're able to grab them. And then drop your head down towards your chest. Breathing deep into your shoulders here. Inhale, switch the cross. Exhale, give yourself a nice big hug. Really, you can use your fingertips here to pull the shoulder blades up a little bit. And inhaling, coming back up into your seat. Now, I hope you do feel a little bit of a relief if you had any discomfort in your neck and your shoulders. And I thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you're going to check out my other videos. For example, the one that I made for the lower back. It was awesome to practice with you. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. Thank you so much. See you again soon, hopefully.